Or kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Redstone block, that'll come in handy. Okay, I don't see a way across. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. Wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Have you found a way out of here? A way out? I only just found you. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. We really need to figure out what happened to the others. I wonder if they found some other way across this gaping bottomless pit. I think it drops forever. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side, but it's in really bad shape, and it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, I'll help you. How are you gonna help me when I don't even know where to start? layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Eligard didn't know you. Not the way I do. But Jessie, she's the greatest redstone engineer. Ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people. Just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. The Order of the Nothing. All I know is, the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You found Eligard, I found Magnus. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time.
Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. The sooner the better. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. Really? Ah! No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. That was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. So many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushrooms, too. Oceanology, volume 24. None of these are enchanting books. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs. <laughs> Revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. Oh, none of these seem to be enchanting books either. Hey, Olivia. I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. <sighs> Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Wood planks, those will be useful. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks.
There we go. A good old fashioned lever. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits more like why wouldn't you secret passageways are cool good point Gathered them all in one place. Gathered... what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Oh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there. Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. gas tears. They're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Am I crazy? Or is this a sea lantern? Ah! The very same one the Order built all those years ago. Oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon Egg? Huh. Alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. <sighs> Locked. Marine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Elagard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plain Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Hmm. Five slots. Back 
soft ice. Let's put it here. Cast tears. Let's try them here. In you go. The Ender Dragon Egg. So cool. Let's try it here. Huh. Those were the right objects. But I guess it was the wrong order. Soren said the Order got these gas tears on their very first mission together. Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Huh. Yes! You solved it! But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. This is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right. That's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it could help me solve the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. <laughs> But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. That was absolutely amazing! They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Hmm, wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hmm, interesting. Aha! 
There's another door? Looks like a banner about TNT. That's a sword. Well, a banner of a sword anyway. Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Sorry. Maybe the short version this time? Well, all right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT shockwave, the third with Eligard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. Ruben, do you know what to do here? Oh well, it was worth a shot. Redstone. Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? in a basement in the Far Lands. Right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't... This isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, I want the truth. And I want it now! I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care! I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but... We didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I 
concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. And the rest is history. Why would you do that? You lied. Even to your closest friends. All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor, why? Why? Why did you do this? I just wanted to hear Soren confess to his lies. Guess that worked. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jessie discovered the truth on her own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. And how is that any better? You reveal their lies at the expense of the world itself. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Look, right now, my friends are out there facing that monster you created. So however we got here, we need to move on. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. So, the enchanting book. What do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamonds! Score! <laughs> So I can cr an axe. Awesome. I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond axe! Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, You'll want better armor, too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. All right. Let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable. All right. This is the set. Yes, a fine choice. 
Now go ahead and put it on. How do I look? Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now, let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. My poor fortress! I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! Petra! You're okay! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Hey, Petra. Are you all right? No. I'm barely hanging on. I should have stayed in that cave. Except you saved my butt like a dozen times. He's exaggerating. I found a couple potions to keep me going. Yeah. Guys! Where's Eligard? Oh man, you won't believe it. See, at first it all went down like you said. Ride for Zorn's fortress, etc, etc. Then we realized... The Endermen. They're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Enderman. Ah, oh, blast! They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. Yeah, so Eligard ran off to fight that thing, all by herself. She's fighting a weather storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... Of the, uh... Order of the Stone. ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there, too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? I'll explain later. Fine. <coughs> Jesse. Guys. I can't do this anymore. You need to go on without me. What? No. I fought as hard as I could, but... This is where it ends for me. Petra, I shouldn't have pushed you. You needed to rest, and I didn't listen. It's not your fault. I wanted to come. Please, just destroy that command block for me. Believe me, I will. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but can we just go for it, or what? We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Me too. Nice, Jesse. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys. Let's go kick some command block butt. We need to get more Endermen focused on the Winter Storm! 
How do you make Enderman focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! Like that, you purple-eyed freak! to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. Everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say... The minecart? Or those pistons... Eh. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch off the ramp like a rocket! <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea! So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh! Look out! Ah! Axel! I got you! Lucas! You're here! Ocelots! Distract that wither storm! Hey you! Get a load of this! Lucas! Thank you! Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing! You guys done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse, I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Place for a. Hey! Ah! 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 Ah
shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Whoa, I recognize these people. how to get up there. The tractor beam! That's it. Come on! 
Time to put an end to this thing. Once and for Ruben! Hold on, buddy! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you! Guys, look! My sickness is gone! Oh, Petra! I'm so happy for you! Hey, hey! Do you guys hear something? Reuben! Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. He was a great pig. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend.
We all owe a great debt to Jessie and her friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. We may have defeated the Ender Dragon. But that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm. They are a new generation of heroes! I'm up here because I saved the world or something. But the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They believed in me, right from the start. I mean, they also set me straight when my head was getting too big, but that's because they're good like that. Yeah, they really are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on. We went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall, and a huge maze, and a model of the Ender Dragon that... Well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? My hero, Reuben the Pig. He may have seemed like just a pig to most people, but he was so much more. And at the end of the day, he saved us all. For Reuben! Jesse. This Nether Star is all that remained when the Witherstorm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.